are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <clears throat> How we can get the following picture here to work. Uh, we got our Pico. Then we have our screen here. and We got a DH11. So first things first is you'll want to download the scripts here. There's three different ones that we need to put on the Pico. So once you have them downloaded uh, and your Pico's ready to go, wired up like such, we can uh, put the scripts on to the Pico to get this to work. So we're going to use Thawney for this. So for example, if I click on the computer here and go to my files here, I can select one of them at a time. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and we'll open these up. All right, so now that we have them up here, we need to put them on the Pico. So we can go to Run, Select, make sure we have uh, Pico selected here by Pico in your port. Now this is on Mac. Windows be a little bit different there. So as you can see, it's running because I already have it on there, but we're just going to stop that guy. Then we can just clear this. So anyway, we're going to select on the first one. Go to File, Save As, Pico. Now obviously it's not working because it's busy. So let me fix that. What we can do is go up here to File, Save As, then we want to select the Pico. And here's where we can put dht.py. Click OK. Done. We'll select Main. Save as Pico. Then we'll type in Main PY. OK. Then we will select on the SSD. Go to save as Pico SSD 1306 PY. Hit enter. Now we are not done yet because if we run this, it will probably fail because we need to go to manage package under tool. And as you can see here, we are connected to our USB here for the Pico, and there's nothing installed. And we need to install the SSD 1306 package. So we'll select that guy. Select install. Okay, so now that he's done, we go over here, select on main run and there we go so now it on the display it's showing the uh, temperature and the humidity and as you can see here it's uh, printing out the following also now you don't need to obviously run this program to make it work once we have it up and running like this we can plug this Pico into anything from a power source and we'll be good to go to read the temperature on the little 128 screen. So hopefully this kind of helps out and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.